What is going on, fellow writers? You're here with Blake Toast 84, and today I want to do a review on some of the top horses in the game. Uh, my personal favorites, what I have, what I ride, versus what other people have, what other people ride. So if you play with the PS4, uh, when you start off, you get awarded with a red chestnut Arabian horse. I no longer have that. I got rid of it. Um, currently, what I ride with is a uh, Missouri Fox Trotter. I have a uh, thoroughbred, and I also have a gold Turkoman horse. Um, as you can see, the Fox Trotter and the thoroughbred are both pretty fast. Um, if you get the right saddle upgrades, it'll get you up to nine out of ten for the speed, and seven out of ten for the acceleration on both of these horses. Uh, I, the Turkoman's not as fast as the other ones. Uh, where the Turkoman's nice is it's a, a multi-class horse. So it's a little bit bigger. Uh, it's not really a war horse, but it's not really a race horse. And with that combination, I like because if you get into a free roam gunfight, uh, your Turkoman could take a couple more shots than your Fox Trotter or your Thoroughbred, from what I've noticed. Uh, even if you look look at the bars uh, that go around it, the Thoroughbred's great. It's really fast, but it doesn't have the stamina or the health that the other ones do. My personal favorite is definitely the uh, Missouri Fox Trotter but um, let's see if if I want to horse purchase another horse what Avenue we would go through so when you start off these are pretty much the only ones you can get um, outside of the Arabian if they're still doing that but as you can see these horses just aren't very fast uh, they don't have good acceleration so I, I would say when you're starting off just save your money um, depends on the type of player you are. If you, I want a fast horse. I want to be able to get away from people. I want to be able to run people down. Um, but not every player is going to play that way online. I've uh, played with some people that are older. They're not as much in the PvP. They like the bigger, slower handling horses. It's just easier for them to control. Um, I've played with guys that have the uh, Black Thoroughbred that came with the Ultimate Edition. And that's faster than any of my horses. I don't know why, but it definitely definitely is. Um, but if you you know, I, I would say most people would want a faster race type horse. Um, here's the thoroughbred. I went ahead and got the brindle coat. I really liked that one. But as you can see, among the thoroughbreds, there's different stats. Uh, the brindle's the fastest of those. Um, if you come down the standard bear, I don't know if I've, I've had one of these. I go through horses quite a bit. I may have had one for a little bit and traded it in. Um, the problem with having a bunch of different horses is it costs money to stable them every day. And the additional stables that you use cost extra money. So it becomes kind of how practical is it when you're first starting off. Uh, down the road, it doesn't really matter because money is irrelevant because you can make it pretty quick. Um, this one here... This reverse Doppel Nakoda, that's pretty fast. I'm not sure what the rank unlock is for it. Um, you know, you've got your war horses here. I did have, I believe the, I believe I had this one for a while. It uh, moved like a Cadillac. It was, it was big and it was slow, but it was definitely steady. Um, I definitely enjoyed that one. It just wasn't fast enough for my style of play. Uh, that's why I liked having the Turkoman because it is uh, a multi-class horse. So um, the gold is definitely my favorite, even from the story mode. I really liked having the gold. Uh, let's see. So looks like uh, they're all the same stat on the horse. What's kind of upsetting for me is the Mustang was really cool in story mode, but when you came online. It just didn't really do anything. I mean, this is nothing for a horse, you know. It's it's not the fastest. It doesn't have great acceleration. You know, when you compare it to, you know, your superior horses, the Arabians. Uh, this was a horse that I was gifted with when I started playing online. Um, I've thought about buying the white Arabian or the black Arabian. I like the all-white look. Uh, it's just right now, I don't really want to add a fourth horse to my stable 
when you know right now I don't really even ride a couple of my horses as much as I should but I just wanted to do a kind of a recap I would say uh, depending on your style of play is, is going to be the type of horse you want you know if you're into aggressive uh, player versus player type gaming I would definitely recommend getting something fast and when you go with the fast horses oops again the uh, thoroughbreds really fast but it doesn't have the the stamina that uh, some of these other ones do as you can see on the bars here they don't even go halfway on the bolt or the heart and that comes in play when you're getting shot at and you know having to chase people down or run away from people um, and you come down to these ones you know they go a little bit faster uh, let's see where's the Nakoda was another really quick one down here like again I don't think I've ever had this one uh, it's fast but again you know it doesn't have you know full bars or half bars they're good for when you're starting off um, where was the Missouri, Missouri Fox Trotter this is my personal favorite um, I don't have the champagne one but I do have the silver dapple pinto and it's it's fast it goes real quick that's what I'm looking for and the Turkmen I alternate between that and the Turkmen the most to sacrifice a little bit of the speed for some of the health that it has over uh, the other one but you know again depends on what you're trying to do on here the war horses are really fun they're huge they make your character look tiny when you're riding them um, it's kind of the Cadillac reference I made earlier but you know I, I just can't have a horse that goes that slow you know I need to be able to get to people and get away from people or you know even going from Rhodes to San Denis I need to be able to do that in a timely manner and you know if, if the uh, Fox Strutters twice as fast you know that takes up time and gameplay so again guys um, another important thing that I think gets overlooked when you're starting off is the saddles so the saddles do a lot um, really helps your horse out as you can see uh, this is kind of a downgrade from what I have this is the best one that I have here your core drain raid um, and your regeneration rate it, it's basically how long you're able to run as fast as you can without your horse slowing down or need to be fed or any of that so that stuff's important as you can see the rattlesnake vaquero saddles is what's equipped on this horse um, but if I go down to the panther saddle which is also a really good saddle uh, the core drain rate is is minus 20 percent where on this one it's minus 22 percent you know so it's a little bit of a dip um, not a huge dip it's not a nine day difference but this one's just better you just look at the uh, just look at the stats here so um, starting off you're gonna have something pretty basic and that's fine you know eventually you'll you'll work your way up I've never seen this one before what is this one do R3 for the info okay so that's like a pretty basic one it looks pretty cool though um, obviously it's in the red so it's it's not as good as what I'm using uh, I don't remember this one either. Let's see. I haven't been in here a while. Um, I usually would go straight down to the special ones. Uh, what do we have? The Panther. That's that's a good one, obviously, and this one's good. I heard the Beaver was really good, and you know I don't I don't think I have that one yet. But really, what's the point? Bear Dakota, that was a nice one for a while. Um, again, they all do their, their purposes, and, and when you're starting off and you can't afford the fancy ones, as you can see, you know, this was 16 gold right off the bat. Um, this one you'd have to use gold to buy. How much? 14 gold. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, this one here would be 17. So let's see, this Gurdon Trail, I remember having this one, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what it does. That's a real basic saddle, you know. Everything's 10% 10, 10 uh, or, or lower, you know, for, for a lot of these. So, you know, save your money, save your gold. Um, buy something nice, you know. So 
Well guys, this is uh, Blake Toast 84 again. I just wanted to do um, a saddle and a horse recap here because I see a lot of people online asking, hey, what's the best horse on some of the Facebook groups or what's your you know, top horse or whatever. It, again, it comes down to preference. So um, again, Blake Toast 84 here and this is just my overview on the three horses that I have. Whoops, hit the wrong thing here. Which again, the three horses that I use are the Missouri Fox Trotter. I also use the Thoroughbred, and when I'm not in a big hurry, I definitely would go with the Turkoman. Um, again, it's a preference thing, guys. So uh, let me know if you have any questions or anything like that, and we can go over it. Probably review some different horses. Until then, guys, we'll see you on the trail.